The files for this tutorial can be downloaded for free from the Lake Vic Fish Dataverse found at the link in the comments below. Click the Open Vector Layer button and navigate to your Lake Victoria Shoreline shapefile and click Open. Go to your Processing Toolbox and search for Random. Go down under QGIS Geo Algorithms Vector Creation Tools and click Random Points Inside Polygons Fixed. Under Number or density of points, enter 100. And to determine the minimum distance, we're going to open the properties of the Lake Victoria Shoreline shapefile. So right click and go to Properties. Then go to Metadata. And then scroll all the way down to the bottom of the Properties box to see what the units of this layer are. And it should be meters then click Cancel. Click the box next to Open Output File after running Algorithm. And instead we're going to Save to File. And navigate to the folder you want to save the file in. And we'll call it Random Underscore Points underscore 100. Click Save, and then under Minimum Distance, make it 100. Then click Run. Click on Add Vector Layer and browse to the file that you just created random points 100 and open it and you can see that it's generated a bunch of random points within the Lake Victoria shoreline. If you right click on random points and go to show feature count it'll show the number of points in brackets right next to the name of the layer. And then if you right click again and go to attribute table you can see the list of points just their ID numbers and you can see that we created 100 points. If you zoom in to some of the points that are look like they're really close together and then go to the measuring tool and measure between two of the points you can see that they are not less than 100 meters apart because we set the minimum distance to be 100 meters. So those are about 2,400 2, meters apart. Go back to your processing toolbox and search for polygon. And then under vector geometry tools, click on polygons to lines. The input layer will be the Lake Victoria shoreline. Save the output layer to a file. And we're going to call this Lake Victoria shoreline underscore line and click Save. This is going to convert the polygon to a line file. Click Run. And if you turn off the Lake Victoria shoreline and the random points, you'll see the output line file. Go back to your processing toolbox and search for random. And then under uh, Vector Creation Tools, click Random Points Along Line. Make your number of points 599 and your minimum distance 500. Oh, actually make your number of points 500 as well. And then save to file again. And we'll call this Random Points 500 underscore line because it's going to be random points along the line. Click Run and your output will be points randomly distributed along the line shapefile that we created from the polygon shoreline. If you zoom in you can see random points along the line.
If you right click on your random points layer and go to the attribute table, you can see how many points it created. And there we have our random points along the shoreline and random points in the middle of the lake.